what's up everybody i hope you're all doing fine and i know you're thinking like <laughs> what is this guy in a white shirt and a black head is going to tell us today that we have no heard of <laughs> today we are going to talk about space i mean i know you're doing a lot of projects and uh projects are piling up and piling up they're over the roof and you don't know what to do with your space so when your disk is full, I know you're thinking, ah, let me just go and buy an external hard drive and fix it there so that you can actually be working with the projects. But that's not going to help you right now because if you're dealing with projects on your PC, an external hard drive is good for people with a laptop. But if you have a PC, that's, not, that's definitely a no-go. This is the reason why it's not recommendable. One, everybody knows that external hard drives are portable. And that actually makes it harder for someone who is working on a project on time to actually keep on referring to something that maybe is not located at that point because it's portable, meaning it can be on a pocket, maybe on your clothes or somewhere. It's good if you want to transfer your stuff from one machine to another machine, but it's not always good when you're working with a project that you're, not, you're knowing that it's going to be on set. Number two, a portable hard drive, most of the time, it's, it's just so susceptible to injury it falls down, it's, it's not fixed. So most of the time, it is usually like, it has like a 50% chance of getting spoiled than a normal hard drive that you have on your PC. So let's jump into the computer and see how we can actually salvage the space by increasing the memory length of our hard drives. So, when you're actually on your hard drive, always make sure that you power off your machine. When you power off your machine, this actually eliminates the problem of shock or your machine getting popped out. So, everything that you do from now then is going to be clean because when you open your computer, you're not going to be this idea that, oh, what if I ruin it? What if some like cables go out of run? It's always simple to work on something that is powered off than something that is on. Now when you have your machine off, you can remove the bracket and then you can remove the hard drive. Easy, make sure that it's slow and working handy. And then you can actually try to find out that this, this hard drive that you have right now has a portability, a compatibility issue with the other hard drive that you have. Because most hard drives are not compatible. You might find a hard drive that has a loop, loop PCI and another one has a double loop PCI, which is going to be a little bit of a nagging issue when you're trying to actually import from one hard drive to another hard drive. So there's not going to be that, that synchronization. So when you have a hard drive, we put this other hard drive on the PCI and then we juggle up these two hard drives and make sure that we have our primary operating system on our first PCI slot. So make sure that the hard drive that you're going to be using with your operating system is on the first PCI slot. And the other PCI slot, which is actually a master hard drive, goes on the other, on the, on the other cable. So as long as you have done all that to make sure that this is right, you open up this other machine and then you take up your hard drive and right now you, you enslave it into this other hard drive and now it's called a slave hard drive. Now a slave hard drive is the next PCI hard drive from the mother hard drive. Now make sure that when you are ex in, in, when you're increasing the space, at least you have close to or double the amount that you have right now. If you have like 500 GB, please just try to go to 1 TB or 500 GB if that's not going to be possible. But don't ever go lower than that because obviously your files are growing heavy and it's good to have like that streamlinity of file sizes so that when the master boot section goes up to 
finding the, the right hard the, the right hard drive to use is not going to be confused it's going to take the right hard drive with, with the c value because this other hard drive can be having a c value but it's going to be slotted down Now that you have your hard drive working out, everything is perfect, you can actually put, boot your computer and check whether the hard drive is normal and then when it's good, you're good to go, you can take to later. This video is just to encourage you to always make sure that you don't go an extra mile of getting expenses that are not required when you're dealing with space. <laughs>